Hello friends and YouTube subscribers, Daniel Rosal here. Today we're going to be taking a crack at making reduced fat home pizza. Not low fat home pizza because low fat is uh, defined by most uh, government dietary authorities as less than 3% fat and we are using 5% cheese. Uh, so, But it's going to be close and it's going to be a lot less fatty than most pizzas you can buy from your local pizzeria etc. Now my wife who is the uh, culinary genius in the relationship uh, began the process by making up some pizza dough in our bread maker and here is the bread maker doing its knead function. So in Israel we do have a decent amount of low-fat cheese available from our supermarkets. Uh, the lowest you can typically get is 5% so this is some 5% goat cheese. Uh, we're also going to be using some cottage cheese which Israelis love and it's uh, actually really good. It's I find it a lot tastier than other cottage cheese in other countries. So that's 3% cottage cheese and then some of this not so special 5% sliced yellow cheese and that's going to be the cheeses I'm going to I'm going to be putting onto my reduced fat pizza. I eat low fat because my gallbladder was uh, was cut out of my body about three years ago and I found eating low fat really really makes a big difference to how my dige digestive system works. So um, you can see my wife here is julienning some uh, peppers. We used a couple of hot peppers and a couple of uh, regular peppers, a bit of uh, garlic minced up, you know, just a, and a bit of spinach as well, just a few pizza toppings. We have a nice oven that gets up to 250 degrees uh, centigrade. And we also use one of these pizza stones and we do find them very useful for our pizza cooking uh, escapades. So um, the pizza dough recipe yields enough for two regular size pizzas, generous size pizzas and uh, take out an eating pin and then you want to just you know stretch it out to fit one of these pizza trays and we're gonna be doing two pizzas uh, we're gonna be eating separate pizzas because I'm one of those weird people that like chewing in my pizza my wife is one of the normal people who thinks that's absolutely disgusting so uh, we keep our pizza eating uh, separate uh, when I want to eat my tuna pizza so that's one pretty much rolled out. Then you want to go around with a fork and just, uh, you know, do this kind of maneuver to, uh, I think it's to let air escape. I'm not really sure. Ask my wife. Um, in Israel, we have this kind of uh, ready to go pizza sauce available off the shelf. And uh, it's a tomato concentrate and a bit of herbs. And it's uh, pretty, pretty decent. Of course, if you want to do everything from scratch, you can make your own tomato sauce for the pizza but we're using the store-bought stuff and then using one of these uh you know brushes and just kind of making sure it gets nice and evenly distributed throughout the uh pizza base and of course we're going to be repeating the process two times today you're going to get some uh, nice uh, close-up shots as i'm uh playing around with my video camera trying to find new ways to shoot stuff oh look at this more tomato going on our pizza we're getting to the next stage of the recipe three two one and just about now so drizzling a little bit of olive oil on top and then using your bu your brush to uh get that in there as well here's our all-star low-fat cheese selection for today's pizza cottage cheese at al and uh, the way we apply these is we got our ricotta and our other uh five percent cheeses and just kind of took these like balls out of the containers using a spoon and then just kind of like mashed them until there was kind of just a white layer on the pizza if that makes any sense this is the first uh, pizza we tried which was just using the white cheeses and for my one i used some of the those cheese slices and just using again something like a spatula to just to kind of mush down uh the white cheeses and the cottage cheese uh, so there's actually three different types of cheeses here so that it forms a nice even layer on which we can put our uh, our other toppings going into today's pizza. A little bit of work and have to go around the whole pizza and make sure everything is nice and even. So you've got your tomato layer, your white cheese layer, and then finally a toppings uh, layer. So we're getting on to the toppings now, just adding a few, a uh, little bit of uh, garlic here, preserved garlic onto the first layer of the pizza. Then we're going to be coming in with our spinach, our peppers, and then getting all those nice different uh, flavors, working it on to, uh, to the pizza here. So you can see our pizza starting to come together. And uh, we're just about ready at this point to pop it into the oven. Our julienne uh, peppers are coming out there as well. Now, as I mentioned, uh, for my pizza, I was going for a um, tuna pizza. So you're going to see the can of tuna I used in a second. It's just important if you're trying to keep low fat to use 
tuna in water and not tuna in oil so tuna preserved in brine the fat difference is actually pretty significant so because i try to eat a low fat diet i only buy tuna in water at this point and uh, you can read the, the nutritional label and see for yourself how much of a difference there is it's quite a lot all right we're finally ready to pop our pizzas into our ovens here goes pizza number one and at 250 degrees this stuff cooks pretty quickly so just about five minutes later whenever you can see the pizza looks done enough for your preference our pizza is ready to come out of the oven this is our first pizza and uh we actually popped this back in the oven for a couple more minutes uh this is my tuna pizza going in and this is pizza one after a couple more minutes and i think it was decently cooked and i've just uh ate half this pizza and it was pretty good so i would call this reduced fat pizza a um success now to state the obvious um even if you start with a low fat food if you eat a ton of it you're going to end up eating a lot of fat so low fat diets it's more about fat per meal uh, but certainly we're greatly cutting down on the amount of fat in a regular pizza by opting for these lower fat 5% cheeses or less if you can get them and um, it definitely didn't feel like deprivation the end pizza was pretty delicious in fact and I'm definitely going to be making this recipe many times again thank you guys for watching hope this little uh, low fat pizza video reduced fat pizza was enjoyable do feel free to stick around on this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button to get more videos from me thank you guys for watching